Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I want to encourage everyone to read the diaries of Adam and Eve. They're a little more extensive than we were able to do this evening. And I also want to encourage you to explore the new first volume of the autobiography. Um, if you don't know, this is a book that Mark Twain, after the death of his wife Libby and the death of his favorite daughter, as a very old man, he lay in bed and dictated this book to secretaries with the understanding and the proviso that it not be published for 100 years after his death. It is now 100 years after his death. The reason for that proviso should be obvious when you get finally to the bits by Mark Twain, sort of wedged in the middle. Um, he says some things in here that he might well have said in private during his lifetime, but chose quite wisely not to say publicly until everybody was dead. <laughs> his explanation, for instance, of Thanksgiving, in which he explains that it is an annual occasion in which white people thank God for choosing their side when it came to extermination. <laughs> Little things like that. It is also a portrait of a man who understood better than perhaps any American author to date what it is to speak to other American people in books and on platforms and in person. And this is his voice, and there's no other like it. I recommend it to all of you. And thank you all for coming. Thank you.